Six weeks of intense training. That's what a potential Toto goes through before they can make their doggy debut. The toughest trick, teaching them to ice walk. Then they learn where to place their feet and how to run, and then they get to be real athletes. But first, the canine must be a Karen. Terrier, that is. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Frank Baum, who wrote the original Oz books, actually had a Karen Terrier that lived with him on his Kansas farm. Catch? Good boy. Beverly Wright Osment trains and travels with the acting dogs. Here's their van. The tag states its purpose and how many dogs actually play the part. You may see one for the whole show. You may see all four. We're off to see the wizard. Toto's top job? Stay with Dorothy. She's the only cast member who's allowed to touch or play with him. But they may run into somebody else that they love even more. And if that skater's on the ice, then they're going to say, well, forget you, Dorothy. I'm, I'm going to go walk over and play with my new best friend. Two females and two males play the part. The girls are stubborn but consistent. The boys more devoted, yet easily distracted. No matter who's on that night, Toto's the most popular part. And the skaters actually, I think, get a little jealous. You know, they're a little, oh, Toto got more applause than me today. This weekend, the show closes for good. And after more than 1,500 performances, all four will retire. He's done his tour duty, basically, his five years. And it's now time for me to give back to him and, and give him a home. Beverly will keep one. The other Toto trio are headed to homes anxious to host an ice capade icon. They've been good, and they've done what I've asked them to do, and they've done more than I've asked them to do. With photojournalist Judd Hewlin, Catherine Daniel, Channel 3 News.